An estimated 4.5 million Burundians took part in Thursday's referendum to make a decision on whether their country will be under a new law or not. And after fulfilling their constitutional mandate, the country's electoral agency, CENI, began the process of tallying in a bid to establish the true aspirations of the electorate. The electoral process in Burundi is yet to embrace electronic infrastructure. The official results in Burundi are not those sent by email, by WhatsApp. The official results we consider are those sent through this special envelope. No electronic in Burundi. We know some people who manage there, and uh, we suspect there are some actors there up. And even though the definitive figures are yet to be announced, professional results indicate that majority of voters voted resoundingly in favor of a new constitution. We, we are conducting a process which has been conducted in a peaceful manner and um, in a democratic manner. And people went by themselves to the, the, the polling station. They have voted, some for yes, others for, for no. Um, especially here in the capital, Bujumbura, uh, there was um, a, tight, um, a, a, a tight difference between the yes and, and the no. The figures so far received from all the provinces show the yes campaign that was largely sponsored by the ruling CNDD FDD party won 73% of the total vote compared to the opposition coalition led no campaign which got 19 percent the outcome further indicates that the yes campaign won in all the 18 provinces in burundi a section of the opposition has so far denounced the results citing electoral malpractices the electoral agency is expected to announce the results in its position saturday all indications are that Burundi has a new constitution and that the current president is eligible for a seven-year term of presidency. But that is only possible in 2022 if the ruling party endorses him for the position. Eric Biegon reporting for Channel One from Bujumbura, Burundi.